A few years ago, a young plumber working in Bristol, in Clifton where I am now, lost his life because of a washing machine that was plugged into a socket was wired incorrectly by a qualified electrician. In this video, I'm going to explain how it happened. I'm going to show you a real life example in my kitchen and how with one simple test, this could have all been avoided. Right, so I've got my whiteboard here and what we're going to do, I'm just going to quickly show you how a socket circuit works in the UK. You have 230 volt live feed, which goes from the consumer unit straight to your socket, because we're particularly talking about a socket circuit here. So we've got our live 230 volts coming into the socket from the actual plug of the socket. It then trails out and goes to the actual appliance itself. The appliance then uses that electricity and it then comes back on the neutral back through the plug and then back through the socket to the mains and back out to the road. So what we now have to remember is that we need our earth line now and this earth line is very important because this is what's going to protect you in the event of a fault. So this is basically classed as your your seat belt. This equipment, if you're driving a car, you need your seatbelt on. You don't need a seatbelt to make the car journey and go somewhere. However, if you have a crash, you damn well make sure that you have your seatbelt on. That's exactly the same with this. So we have our earth coming into the socket and it comes out of the socket and goes to the washing machine. So why is the earth like your seatbelt? Well, basically for safety, what will end up happening is if your appliance, whether it be a washing machine, a kettle, microwave, cooker, whatever it might be, if it has 230 volts flowing into it and something goes wrong with that piece of equipment, what can end up happening is it can send a dead short straight down onto the metal casing, uh, whether that there's internal metal parts or, or external metal parts that are all connected together. That could, could potentially become live at 230 volts. When that happens, that power needs somewhere to go and it needs somewhere to go quickly. So it goes down the, the earth path which will give you your least resistance just like water it will take the, the least path of resistance so it'll flow down the earth path back through the socket through the mains and then at the mains is where you've got your consume unit with your circuit protection this is what's going to trip out in the event of a fault hey guys future leon here some of you might be wondering why didn't the rcd trip Here's the thing, there's no guarantees with an RCD. It's there as your last layer of defense, but it's certainly not to be relied on when it comes to safety of people's lives solely. So there's a number of things with an RCD. One of them could be that the RCD could be faulty. Uh, there may not have even been an RCD present in the circuit, or it could be the fact that the person had health issues. We don't know. But what I do know is that I've had some electric shocks in the past over my career, and believe me, it really hurts. So now guys, back to the video. So this is what killed the plumber. So as you can see, we've got our life coming in. What would happen normally is it will go through the, in this case, because it's a washing machine, it goes through uh, an element like this inside the appliance. And then it would then return on the neutral as we discussed. So what's actually happened in this scenario is that because the live and the earth were around the wrong way, the earth path would currently connect onto your appliance like this and would make the entire casing of this all earthed. But what's actually happened here is that the live and the earth path have been put around the wrong way at this socket point here. So what is actually happening is instead of this being the earth path coming down here, what we have is the live is going straight down the earth path and going straight onto the casing of the appliance right the way around like this. And this is where our problem is because where this appliance would have normally had a live path going through the actual uh, innards of it here, it's actually got the neutral path coming down here like this. So we've actually, all that's ended up happening is the earth path is going through the internals of the machine and the live has tracked down what should have been the earth and has now gone on right the way onto the, the whole external of the actual appliance. And this is particularly bad because not only has the live, we, have we got 230 volts live on the washing machine, when you then add a person to the mix that then touches this, what happens is, is that in this case, because it was the plumber, we have pipe work in an installation, like so, there would have been, there would have been water, a uh, water pipe going into this appliance. So with the water coming in like this, this was at zero volts. And the problem is, is that the plumber touched the casing of the appliance, which then gave him 230 volts straight down into him and then came straight out onto the water pipe at zero volts. So basically what I'm trying to say is the voltage tracked 
230 volts tracked through the casing straight through the, the plumber and then went straight down to earth on the water pipe which is what gave him his fatal shock. So as promised I'm going to put this into a real life situation now and show you exactly what happened. I'm going to recreate this situation with my very own washing machine and socket here in my kitchen. Guys do not try this at home. This is something I'm doing in a controlled environment but let's get straight into it and I'm going to show you exactly what has happened. Special permission from the wife to do this. <laughs> to do this, I'm going to use an extension lead. I'm going to create exactly the same circuit fault. However, I'm doing something slightly different in the, in the way I'm doing it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm now going to plug this in. So bear, remember, this socket is wired correctly, but this is wired incorrectly, so it's going to give me my live in the earth round the wrong way to that socket point there, which we're about to plug the washing machine in. So right there, we've got a one flashing LED on that one. So as I take this out, if you look here, that one is the right hand LED. And as you look here, it says there, if you get a warble and it's green on that right one, that means you've got a live and earth reversed. So what I've got here is a volt stick. This is a very handy piece of equipment for electricians. Um, something to know about this is that this is good for seeing if something's live or not. However, something to remember is that this is not good for, for accurately testing for safety. It's good just to, if you're just trying to figure out if something's live or not, uh, a circuit's come live or something like that, but you certainly don't use this for safety. But uh, one thing I will say about this is that when you normally use this on a, on a cable, when it gets near it, it will tell you that there's voltage in there by giving you a red light like that, continuous with a beep. But if you notice when I only get this far away from it, it doesn't, it doesn't catch anything. It's only when it's very close, that's because it's picking up the electricity that's flowing within inside of the cable. So watch this now when I actually go to this. This appliance, I'm not obviously not gonna to touch it, but this appliance is casing has now become live. So when I get my volt stick, you can see here, I'm a good six inches away at least, and it's, it's lighting up live. That's because the entire mass of this washing machine, the whole metal casing of it has all become live. So as you can see, the system's all connected and there's no obvious signs of there being anything wrong at this stage. So I'm about to show you now the voltage, how it will flow. Imagine being a plumber, uh, I had a spanner and I put it down on this washing machine. If I put this down on the washing machine and touched it, that's not enough to do anything. But now let's imagine I went to go and pick it up and I was actually doing some pipe work on this tap at the same time. Now let's see what happens. So if I put one probe on here and I put the other one straight onto the tap here. If you take a look at my meter, I've got an exact 240 volts right there. So that will complete a circuit. And with touching the washing machine and anything that is earthed at the same time simultaneously, is exactly when the current will flow straight through your body. So I've got two pieces of equipment here which are perfect for testing sockets. So electricians, something I need to really highlight about this is that this piece of equipment is good for testing before you energize a circuit. Uh, what you need to realize is that between the live and the earth, when you plug in and do an R1 and R2 reading, as they call it, you're checking that there's a live and earth present before the circuit's energized. However, this piece of equipment, when you're doing a continuity reading, it's reading a resistance. It doesn't know if the live and the earth are around the wrong way. So that's something really important to know because then once you energize the circuit and turn it on, you can then take a, what's called a loop reading. So it takes a live and earth reading again. However, it's taking what's called a polarity reading. It's checking to make sure that all the wires are connected on that bucket, that, the back of that socket around the right way. If they're not, this piece of equipment will let you know that it won't let you take the reading if it's been wired incorrectly. So this piece of equipment is perfect for anybody, whether you're an electrician or whether you're a homeowner, a DIY enthusiast, whoever you are, this is perfect for you. This is a real nice simple piece of equipment which when you plug it in, it's not gonna give you any fancy readings like we need as electricians. It's just simply gonna tell you if the wiring is correct on that socket. There'll be a link in the description if you'd like to pick up one of these for yourself. So why did I make this video? I made this video because this is something I think about every single day of my working life. This is very important to me because this situation can happen to any one of us so easily, whether you're an electrician or just somebody trying to improve your house's electricity by add, replacing a few sockets. This can happen to absolutely anybody. And the absolutely damaging thing about this is not only that poor man that lost his life, 
but it's also the families that have to carry on with this situation. And let's not forget that the, the person that wired that socket on that fateful day didn't mean to try and kill anybody. He was just going to work just the same as we all did. And unfortunately, it cost somebody their life. So this video is dedicated to this scenario and I just hope that it helps some, at least somebody do the right thing in future.